what's up guys so I just met up with Avra she's got her van here you can see it behind me and um, we got a site at uh, State Park in Galveston right on the beach actually this is the Bayside um, but mainly we got the site so we could spread everything out get our solar installed and I just unboxed everything let me um, turn the camera around we'll check it out so I just unboxed everything got it all laid out here and uh, got the ladder up and I mean, that's a lot of boxes for uh, this little bit of stuff in it so we got the two uh, solar panels and um, they're 50 a piece so she's got 100 watts up there now this thing's gonna um, be expandable so she can put another uh, actually 250 on it if she wants to um, those are the brackets I already installed a bracket on one uh, got the pigtails to uh, mount them together. Got some lap sealer. Got a little boot so we can seal the wires without it leaking. A bus bar. We'll uh, hook all the negatives into that. Uh, VHB tape. Um, I'm going to stick stick the VHB tape onto the uh, bottom of the um, brackets and put probably one screw in it just for safety. Now, that makes me laugh. I know I should be laughing, but. Uh, I don't know if you all seen Bayward's uh, video where he lost his solar panel using that tape. I don't think he put it on right, to be honest with you, but uh, um, kind of funny. He probably didn't think it was funny, but uh, he just got new solar panels, so it'll be all right. Now, I did buy uh, the cables with the ends already on it. I cheated. Uh, if this was my own project, I probably would have made my own cables like I did with mine. I just really didn't have time to do that. It was a little more expensive. Um... But that's already done and also same with the uh, extensions to, to uh, put all the cables together hook all these solar panels together into the uh, controller uh, got her MPPT solar controller and a remote um, controller so this will probably go with the batteries and the inverter and this will go out on her wall somewhere I don't even know where yet and went with the Windy Nation 1500 uh, power inverter it's a uh, pure sine wave. It's actually a nice inverter. And I think that should uh, be plenty for our power needs. Uh, got an inline fuse for the solar and another fuse, 150. This is a 30 amp, by the way. And that's just going to go from the solar, between the solar and the uh, solar charger controller. And got a 150 amp fuse that's going to go between the battery and the uh, inverter. Um, also, let's see, we just got the two uh, VMAX, the charge tanks. I love these, the same things I got in mine. They're 125 a piece. Um, I think there'll be plenty of power. And again, she's going to be able to expand with the solar. She don't have a lot of room up there, so that's why we're only dealing with the 250s. And she might be able to do a, like a suitcase, 150 watt, when she's standing still somewhere. Um, got the Dicor lap sealer. And that's what I'm going to use to seal this and probably seal some stuff on our roof. A little, few things that are cracked up there. But I'm going to put all this together. I'm going to start right now and work till dark. And what I don't finish, I'm going to do tomorrow. And I'll show you the finished product.
Awesome, it's just getting dark and I finished. Probably got about 10 more minutes of light. And tomorrow uh, we're gonna go inside and check the whole system out. But it turned out great, looks great. So stay tuned for that. What? So we got her done. The install looks good, it's really clean. Um, I think the hardest thing was, was getting the uh, solar wires down this corner and through the roof. I had to take pretty much all the trim out, uh, some, some of the backing on the cabinets, but it looks good. She's got 250 amp hours of battery. That should be plenty. Uh, she's lacking on the solar, but we didn't have a whole lot of room up there. So if later uh, she feels she needs another one, pretty much the only alternative in here would be taking that skylight out, um, which wouldn't be that bad to do. But uh, that's what's going on in here. And uh, that inverter is nice, mounted it right in the front of this door, right behind this door. So uh, she'd be able to access it right there and um, plug something in like a hair dryer and place the button right here. So it looks kind of clean, kind of factory look in there. And uh, she can turn it on when she needs power. Um, the remote controller for the uh, for the charge controller, we mounted it right there. Really nice place for it. And I just actually it was the only place I really could get it. So it turned out nice anyway because I only had so much room for, or so much uh, slack for the wire. I might have had three extra inches after I installed it there. I know it's not showing uh, anything now, it's really overcast, it was showing about 2 amps a little while ago, um, it's been crappy all day actually, so the sun's going down now, um, but it's working, working good, uh, let's see, yeah, that's it, works nice, love it, I actually wish I would have done that uh, PP MPPT uh, charge controller on mine and I might still get it, so that's that's done. Looks good. I think uh, all together got about a grand into it. Now the batteries alone were 550, so I think that's a pretty good uh, price for that. And that's it. She's ready to roll with it. Um, what else? Got her 12 volt TV. We're gonna install later. The bracket didn't come in in time. Uh, I put these lights in for, her, which is really nice, and they look so awesome at night. They put off just enough light on the uh, blue a little bit of ambiance swat and they're very super bright on the regular light I really love these I wish I could get them for mine they're a little pricey though but the, the blue light just gives perfect amount of light at night and uses almost no battery sweet so yeah that looks uh, pretty cool they do put off a lot of light and this was the ones I took out from here they were right here, they were terrible. So now she has the LED, it's gonna save a lot of energy. And there's uh, actually six of them, one here, one here, and the two back there, and a couple up front there. So uh, that's it. I think we're gonna, she's, she's ordered a uh, Nature's Head toilet, and we're gonna put this in here. And then she all that stuff in there. And the black water tank is in the bottom there, we're gonna actually pull that out that box underneath the toilet pull it out and uh, do whatever we got to the floor and set the uh, compost toilet right right there to, uh, on the floor so it's all gonna turn out pretty good um, hope you all like that install I think I was pretty thorough with it and uh, turned out really good I'm happy with it she's gonna love it she already does love it and thanks for watching guys thanks for your support hit that thumbs up because that's how we roll